Hey y'all, good sunny morning from Mason County, Washington here in uh, Shelton. Got all the slides put away, uh, everything cleaned up, RV's ready to go, just did my checks. So, I want to explore a little bit and share some of 101 with you. Yeah, back on my favorite little loop, but we're doing all new stuff. I'm trying new things, I'm going to share with you new things. Uh, I've taken you on uh, parts of this loop before, or well, we're going to try we're gonna try things differently today. So, uh, and I did some shopping at Walmart, so we're stocked up for a good week with supplies. So, yeah, let the uh, journey begin. Come on with me. Uh, it feels so good to be back on the road exploring. Don't get me wrong, I mean, I have to go to Thurston County because my mailbox and everything is there, but man, there is just something so freeing about having a full tank of gas and just, just driving, just, just going up to check things out. Uh, Shelton's actually a pretty small town, really, except that uh, somewhere right back here behind the airport is the largest correctional facility in the state. <laughs> yeah, right somewhere over here. Anyway, Washington Correction Center, a big prison that houses thousands and thousands of inmates. Uh, okay, here's the sign. State Patrol Academy and Washington Correction Center. It's, it's bigger than uh, Walla Walla, that song The Offspring did, and uh, a few others. Anyway, they got a lot of inmates in Shelton. <laughs> oh, I see some snow-capped mountains up there. This is going to be a fun little trip up the 101 loop. Here we go. Woohoo! I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. To just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what A good time looks like You can do better So much better by the way, that appeared to be a one vehicle motorcycle crash there. I think he just took the corner too sharp. He was standing there, so apparently he's okay. There was no medics. A good a time as ever to remind everybody, be, be careful out on the roads, watch for motorcycles, and motorcycles be careful out there too, I guess, right? And that body of water that was running right down the right side of our screen there, it looked like an ocean. Technically, it's the Puget Sound separates Hood Canal, the 101 with the other side over Seattle, Tacoma, and Olympia. But yeah, that's uh, Puget Sound. And I um, thought this might be a really quirky spot for a burger because there's a plane sticking out of the side of the building. Burgers landing. Uh, for the record, I am filming this on a Sunday in June. And for whatever reason, closed up. Very, very surprising. There are no hours listed at all, and it just says closed will return. Oh, the numbers are missing. I don't know. I thought this would have been a really cool spot to try out a burger, but apparently they're not open anymore or have really weird hours. I'm not sure. Still fun and quirky. From here, we're kind of at the tip. I'll, I'll flash a map on your screen to show you where we're at on the 101. Uh, so we're going to basically cut back west now and go along the top of the Strait of Juan de Fuca and uh, still see what we can find. That's okay. With all this solar, I can just microwave a hot dog real quick and good to go. Mmm, 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 mmm. What are you doing back there? Oh, okay, cool. Oh, 
And I came across this at Walmart. Limited edition Dr. Pepper dark berry flavor in a blue can. And it is really good. I should have got more than just one 12 pack because this is delicious. Ah, I still drink one soda a day. I've cut it all the way down to one, but still got to have one. All right, goodbye, plane sticking out of the building. Maybe we'll come back on a, not a Sunday later and check you out later. Cool, now we're in Clallam County and we're in the city of Squim. I know I have some viewers from Squim or that live in Squim because they've, they told me last time I was here three and a half years ago that, that they were, several people said hi to me in the comments. So hi again, guys, and I'm back. And you may remember a couple years ago, we, I think we were in Texas and I took you to the Hillbilly Shack Motel where you could rent a shack and live in a shack. Well, here in Squim, they got the Red Caboose Getaway. It does say they're closed. I don't know how long their season really is, but you can rent out for the night a caboose. Now, how quirky is that? If you're a road traveler and you go to motels, if you don't have an RV, this is cool. You can literally rent and live in a caboose for a night, which I think is pretty cool. They've also got an old GMC back there. It's closed and it's private property, so I don't know if I'm allowed to go back there right now or not, but it sure is unique. It's pretty cool, right? So, I got a little more driving to do yet. And it looks like, oh, we're good. Oh, I am gonna hit these trees up here though. Crunch. It's just uh, cleaning the top of the solar panels. Oh, there's one person here. They might even be just be a day use person, but. Now, lots of solar here in this area. How about this, Jackson man? What do you think? Yeah, man. Let's go grab this end slot site over here. Uh, this is site six. That way my side door and my awning will have like our own little private spot. We won't have to look at anybody, Jax. Yeah. Can I do this without hitting any rocks? Oh yeah, there's not that many rocks. Just looking at my rear backup camera there. And park it right there. All right, getting all comfortable here in my sight. Lots and lots of solar, and that's the best thing about it. Otherwise, um, you, you would be pretty close to your neighbors. You would be, but not a bad view. You got some baby fir trees in here. Absolutely no cell phone service of any kind. They're you kind of out here in the middle of nowhere, but you know, they opened this up. It was just a walking trail. The reason they opened it up was to take the burden off all the people who came all the way out here to go to the other campground down the road. You know, the, you know, the other one, the Eric's greatest campground in the entire country. Yeah. And I honestly, I do not know if Miranda will even fit there. One of the things I'm doing tomorrow is taking the e-bike down there to kind of scope it out and see, to see for sure, yeah. But it is what it is here. You get seven days to camp here at this spot, included with your Discover Pass. Here, it's an ATV bike loading and unloading area. So kind of like the, the horse corrals over at Margaret McKinney, here we have a little raised platform so you can put your pickup truck right there and easily put your, put your bike in there. And there is a lot of really neat trails through here. One thing I learned about the Department of Natural Resources since having the e-bike, kind of a wow wow, is that the bike trails, I am not allowed to bring my e-bike on the bike trails in this state. They have banned a bicycle with a motor in it. Even if you're not using the motor, apparently you can't even take it on the trails as an e-bike. However, you can take your e-bike on any of these ATV trails, which could be a lot of fun. So what am I going to do out here with no Netflix? <laughs> it's fine. I love nature. I did take the bike all the way over to Liar River. I think I can make it. I do. I think I can make it. Let me uh, show you something here. So this was actually sent out to me for free to uh, look at, and I'm going to share it with you. It's a Joy Tutis cooler compressor. This is not one of those ones that you sell at Walmart that'll bring it down to a certain temperature of the ambient. No, this absolutely has a compressor in it right there. It's a Wancool compressor in there, just like the Dometic ones, uh, but this one is much, much cheaper, much more affordable. It does have a digital readout here, so I set it to uh, Fahrenheit, and we're sticking to 37 degrees easy. It's a 
24 quart. I do have some of the stuff from my fridge in there. I'm actually working on a little project here, but, and I have it plugged into an AC outlet adapter right now, but it comes with a DC charger, so you can just put it in the back of your truck or your car or your RV, or maybe this is perfect for like someone building a van or something. You know, some of the competitors are out there are charging three or four times the price, so I think this is right around $279, and uh, it flat out works, runs on about four and a half amps when it's running. Obviously, it's not running all the time. It's only running to uh, cool stuff down. I'm really, uh, I'm really happy with it. What's in there, Jax? Get him. Go get that. Get that kind. Oh, okay. Well, I'll put a link in the video description if you're interested. I think it'd be perfect for a vanner or someone who, uh, car, car camps. It's not cheaply made either. It may have a cheap price. It's not cheaply constructed at all. It's a metal and plastic combination built. There's, you see there's no latch on the front. That's because this lid is actually magnetic. That's how it stays closed. So, what would I use something like this for? Well, right now, I actually need to thaw out my fridge and freezer uh, using a heater to get the ice off the fin. So I'm going to transfer most of the stuff that I don't want to get to room temp temperature into this little cooler while I defrost my fridge. But also, think about this. I go out to a campground or like a sandy spot by, by the beach or something. I can put this outside the RV with some barley pop in it, plug into my outlet right next to my solar gear, and uh, won't be tracking dirt and grime and sand into the RV every time I come in for another drink or hot dogs or whatever I'm working on. So yeah, this'll, this'll, I'll be using this a lot. So I'll be back soon with another video. If you don't follow me on uh, Instagram, there'll be a link in the video description. Check that out. I do post pictures ahead of time to show you what's going on in between the videos. And I'm really excited. See you in a couple days, guys. Bye-bye.